Good morning, walkers, and welcome back to Budapest. Uh, it is a beautiful, what is it? It's a Wednesday morning. We are starting off in Elizabeth Square. Elizabeth Square. You can see a couple places. We walked through here the other day. Uh, you can see the Ferris wheel over there. And over here, you can see the top of the Dome of St. Stephen's. I'll look up a couple stats for you here. It is currently 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 2 degrees Celsius. It's about almost 10 a.m. Uh, this morning. Beautiful sunny day, mid-December. Uh, we are going to walk up to, uh, I think it's called the City Park, Heroes Square. And we're gonna go up the kind of Tony Andresi Avenue, or Andresi Oot, I think that's Avenue. Um, but I'm not really sure, and I'm probably not even pronouncing it right. However, we're gonna walk up, up anyway. It's a pretty cool, wide boulevard. Um, and yeah, we'll pass the opera, which is under renovation. We will pass a little mini Christmas market bunch of shops and end up at the park and we'll I haven't been up there yet so we'll see see what we see my wife traveling Mel has been up there check out that YouTube channel which brings up the rest of the intro spiel give us a like if you enjoy these it does help us with YouTube get noticed by other viewers uh, leave a comment I do enjoy the feedback or at least I appreciate it and I do try to read every comment uh, sometimes it takes me a couple days when I don't get notified, but uh, I usually go back and check that in the studio anyway, uh, eventually. What else? Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We try to be fairly regular about this, but if you subscribe and then click that little bell, you'll get a notification when we release new videos. And we are sometimes playing around with our schedule, so uh, that might be helpful and tell your friends so uh, about these if you enjoy it. If you're at the gym walking on your treadmill, it would be helpful if you let your friends know how much you enjoy these, assuming you do. Uh, here's another view of St. Stephen's, East Bonn, St. Stephen's Cathedral or Basilica. I love these kind of narrow side streets too. Um, you may not talk as much on this once I stop, um, excuse me, and, but in the meantime, I just wanted to comment, the, this is such a beautiful city, uh, you know, it was a major, I think it was a co-capital of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, we're coming up on Andrasi Ut. Um, and so it's got all these magnificent old buildings, many of which, uh, you know, didn't see a lot of love during the communist era. And Hungary has really, oh, that smells good. Uh, Hungary is a thriving economy now, from what I understand. Well, at least it's, it's one of the big ones in Europe. Um, and so they've got, they're, they're growing things and they're, making efforts to redo a lot of these old buildings, but a lot of them still need a lot of love. Uh, you'll see up here, I was noticing that uh, you'll have these really nice storefronts at street level, and then right above there'll be um, this beautiful building with the fascia, fascia crumbling away. And I don't know what they look like on the inside, but from the outside, they're beautiful. They just need a little love. For those of you interested in this sort of thing, I was trying to use this vertical axis stabilizer uh, to smooth out the up and down motion a little bit. Uh, and the first few times I used it, it was great, but then it developed a squeak uh, and I oiled it and the squeak went away, but the 
this kind of grinding noise now. So I've I put that on hold for a little while longer, see if I can figure out a way to fix that. Yes. I read an article a long time ago about some of the differences of modern architecture, contemporary architecture, and um, this older architecture, and one of the points they made was that, uh, was that, uh, you know, now everything is seen from cars, at least in the States, so they haven't developed this street level design aspect, or they've, not they haven't, they've left it behind. Here, everything is interesting as you walk past in these older buildings, and you know, it's a good point. Everything is beautiful, but when you have a 50-story building, you may not be looking up at it, so the aesthetic is from a different perspective. I thought that was kind of interesting. kind of see what I was talking about over here with the storefronts down low looking nice and then above eh, a little bit crumbly here as well nice and clean and then get into the grind These are nice. Off to the left we have the opera. It's all covered up, being rehabbed. Beautiful entranceways at least. And then we have this cool building over here, which I don't know what it is. I saw a sign earlier, but it was from across the street. I'm guessing it's some sort of theater. We're passing the uh, Opera Metro stop. Oh, 
Crossing Nagi Mezzo. I'm gonna cross the street, sorry, for the sudden direction. A couple older theaters down in this direction, and some neat cafes. But we're actually going to keep going up Andrasi Ut. Again, you can see the difference in what's been cleaned over here on the other side and what hasn't. Stark contrast. Still a neat, beautiful old building. Over on the left here, We are crossing Yokai Ter. This is, I guess, Yokai Ter. I don't know who Yokai was. If I'm even pronouncing that right. A little Christmas market here. And a nice little park and boulevard, walking boulevard across the way there. Dan, sorry for swinging back and forth. This is the Christmas market. These cool giant candles. dog at a cafe, like you do. We're coming up on a uh, area I believe is called the Octagon.
Servus, This is Teres Karut, which I assume is the name of the road, not the square. Another big wide boulevard. This one kind of is more of a rim road. Look at those beautiful buildings down there. The unit of currency here is the forint. Even though they're a member of the EU, they use their own currency. Uh, a single ride on the trams or buses, or I believe the metro, is about 350 forints, florins, forints. Um, so about a little over a dollar. And they do check, apparently. Uh, in fact, I've heard that they actually look for tourists that may have not done things correctly to, uh, you know, do you have to validate your ticket? Try and catch them up, give them a big fine, which is fair. You should be paying your way. This is one of those cities that has a lot of heft to it. It's big, and it's been big for a long time. I believe over here on the left is the Museum of Terror. It's got this kind of interesting design. I don't know if you can tell, but the light shining through the eaves up there have the cutout letters spell terror. My understanding is that's from Nazi and communist times in terms of subject matter. Uh, the street here is Voroshmarty Ut or Utica, I think. Um, Voroshmor Voroshmarty Utka, and there's a metro stop here.
Isabella Utka. Coming up on Jondi Georgi's Jobor. And I'm having a tough time with these pronunciations, but this is a beautiful, uh, kind of a square roundabout uh, with a lot of these cool old uh, buildings. I guess all the buildings here seem to be fairly old. Um, but these buildings over the left have some old uh, stucco, what was it called? Oh, my vocabulary. Look at these old buildings, super cool. Vak Botyan. Frescoes, that's what I'm looking for. You can't tell, but this building over here has a lot of ornate painting on the outside. It's really dark and grimy at the moment. And it would be fantastic if someone had the money to redo that. Uh, there's the statue is Jean de Giorgi. Maybe that was what I was reading. This is Zrini Miklos. take a stab and say that this is Kondali Korond with K's.
hooded crow. I think that's what that is. This is Baya Utka. It's down there, but looks fancy. Passing the Baya Utka Metro. Baja, sorry. So that's B A J Z A with some accent marks. This looks like an Asia museum. Asian art, maybe. I'm assuming that the J is pronounced like a Y, uh, and I could be totally, totally off about that. That's one thing, if you're still listening, uh, and you see any mistakes that I've made or uh, things that I missed, please, uh, I love hearing about those, those and personal connections to Budapest, personal stories in the comments, love reading those.
Like this might be the Turkish embassy over here. Coming up on Hero Square. Wow, this is pretty grand. This is Joja Georgi Ut. So The building across the street is the Kunsthalle, and uh, exhibitions of contemporary art in a 19th century neoclassic gallery with a gift shop and cafe. And the monument in the middle, actually I'm gonna wait until the siren goes. The monument in the middle is the Millennium Monument. I think I mentioned this in my last walk here in Budapest, uh, that they date the founding of this place to 896 when uh, the first Magyar tribes arrived, Hungarian tribes. I think there were seven, seven tribes, seven leaders, I think, or maybe four. Um, in 896, so this a lot of this area dates to 1896 and the millennium. And across the way, let's see if I can pull that up on Google Maps, is the Museum of Fine Arts. Looks like they have a Rubin and Van Dyck exhibition. And over on the right, I think what I may do is actually do another walk of the city park. Over on the right is a castle, uh, but it's not, I don't think it's particularly old. In fact, I think that, um, yeah, that's not it. I think that it was the Vad. Via Vaid Ahunyad Vara. And I think it was actually made, I could be getting that wrong, but I think it was actually made in 1896 out of cardboard and wood. And it was so popular that they rebuilt it in stone. Cross here. Hopefully I don't get run over. Very cool monument here. I believe before the Magyars arrived, there were Romans and Celts and a couple other groups that had settled this place. 
And keep in mind, Hungary is mostly flat plains, uh, pretty good for agriculture, and a lot of um, a lot of civilizations came out of here, and and it's been kind of a place that's been fought over for a long time. Very beautiful square. Um, looking back down on Drassi now, you can see the maybe the Ferris wheel in the distance. Big, wide, tree-lined boulevard. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're going to call it for this walk, but we will be walking around City Park uh, very soon. So come back for that. Give us a like, a thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. Leave us a comment with your personal stories, with your corrections, and uh, any kind of insights you might have about Budapest, Andrasi Avenue, or Hungary in general. Um, and most of all, come back next time. So in the meantime, until we see you again, our next walk, have a great day and happy walking.